Okay, now if you are on this channel, welcome to Grace Ministries. Now I'm going to give you my mother's meatloaf recipe. Now I am not showing the cooking process. It's very simple because these days you can either cook a meatloaf in your oven, your air fryer, your instant pot. It's so many ways. So I'm going to give you the basic ingredients. So um, you can either watch this several times, write it down, whatever works for you. But this is my mom's Mother Clara's meatloaf. One pound ground beef, one pound ground turkey, one half cup oatmeal or one half cup of crackers, one fourth cup of Worcestershire sauce, one eighth cup of ketchup, one fourth cup of red onion and bell peppers chopped up finely, salt, pepper, onion powder, and two eggs. Very simple. You're going to make up your mixture, and here's the secret. Make up your mixture overnight. That's the secret. Then, the next day, and the reason why you're going to make your mixture up overnight is because all those seasonings and stuff is going to settle up in that meat. The next day, preheat your oven to 350. Put your meatloaf into a pan that has been sprayed for one and one half hours and covered with foil. After the one and one half hour of being cooked with the foil covered, you're going to take out your meatloaf, take the foil off, drain off oil and juices, and then you're going to add one fourth cup of water, a little bit of ketchup or tomato paste or tomato sauce. Without the foil, put it back in the oven and then cook it for 15 minutes and this is what you gonna get <laughs> as you can see our family tore this meatloaf up now of course i did make a huge meatloaf i try to make everything abundant because god is abundant so y'all i'm telling you now growing up i didn't eat a lot of things i wanted to eat spaghetti raviolis and mustard whoppers but i'm gonna tell you something my mother <laughs> I love you, Mother Clara. It's so good at cooking. God blessed her hands. And if I tell you, when I, we went down home this past uh, weekend, and <clears throat> my mom, let me tell y'all. Now, my mother, true story, is 80 years old, almost 81 in a couple of months. Let me tell you what my mother made by herself. Mind you, she's fixing to be 81 years old. God bless in another, well, actually, next month. My mother made meatloaf, chicken and dressing, cabbage, potato salad, baked chicken salad, bread pudding, vanilla cake, homemade with a frosting that you could never duplicate. My God, my God. Y'all, it was so much my mom made that when you walk in that house, it looked like a buffet style, like, like who delivered this food? God is so good, and I'm just asking God to give me the same mercy and grace that he has given my mother. Y'all, I'm telling you, my mom mows her own yard, cleans her own house. She does everything, still works <laughs> a full-time job out there at the school as a librarian where she lives. I'm like, God, just give me a little bit of that mercy you have given my mom. But I tell you what was so good is that me and all of my family was together together last weekend celebrating mother's day and it was such a blessing because we was all down there of course we wanted to eat real good and we did it was such a blessing though and i just looked back at my mom you know and that's just the greatness and blessingness of god and i was like wow i can't believe my mom is almost going to be 81 years old she looked like she about 50 years old that's a true story i'm like god how is she still sustaining like that what is the secret my god and god said the secret is give your life to god give your life to god give your life to god that is a secret to being sustained like that spiritually physically mentally everything my god my god you know what god is a good god he is a sustaining god he is a sustaining good God, y'all. If you look at your life every day, and sometimes we will look at the negative things, but if you look at the positive, my God, you can wake up and breathe. You can see. You can walk. You can talk. Roof over your head. 
You can just say, thank you, Lord, without somebody breaking in there on you because you worship in the Lord God because of your faith. I'm telling you, y'all, do not mess around with your daily blessings. God is so good. The devil wants us to get up and say, I'm so tired. I hate to go to work today. First of all, you do have a job. So the devil gets you up. I hate to go to work. That's him. He don't want to go to work. That's the devil. Oh, I hate to drive in this traffic. Drive? You got a car again, okay? Oh, I hate to be here at this job, going through this stuff with these people every day. Guess what? God has put you in the presence of mind to be able to do a job and, and work for him and be around other people and be of service to him. I'm telling you, don't let the enemy take your joy. When you get up, forget about your negativity. I had to do that myself. I myself was complaining, Lord, I don't this, and Lord, I don't, and I wish I could. The Lord said, do you know how blessed you are? You can wake up without bullets and grenades going over your head. You can freely worship me. You can go out there in your yard and drop down on your knees and freely worship God, and nobody going to shoot you because of your faith in God, because you're a Christian. I say, my God, first of all, you can get up and walk out there to do it. You can breathe and say, thank you, Heavenly Father. You know what, y'all, I, I pro this is what I want you to do this week. Put you some paper, and I ain't, I ain't talking about no cell phone, no Android, no Apple phone, all that. Put you some old school paper by your bed. And every morning when you wake up, say, thank you, God. Then I want you to write, thank you, God. Start it out before you leave. When you get to your job, if you work, Write down on paper again. When you come back home, look at what God has done for you, y'all. We must thank God and let God know that we appreciate him and that we are not taking his love in vain. It's very important. Okay, now for this recipe again. Ooh, we I could preach all day. Y'all, I love the Lord. God is so good. For this recipe again. Mm, 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 mm. Watch the video again. Get the ingredients. It's so simple to make. And this is so moist, delicious, juicy, and flavorful. Look at that. Ooh-wee. You see, we tore that up. Now, what we're going to do, we had it today with mashed potatoes, mushrooms, and green beans. Now, what we're going to do, Lord willing, we on this earth tomorrow, we're going to take this bad girl. We're going to make us some meatloaf sandwiches. And what we're going to do is slice it up and then pan broil it so that this part can get broiled too. Oh, we and some chopped meatloaf steaks. Stay tuned for other recipes that you can make. So when you make a big old blessed meatloaf like Mother Clara's meatloaf, you can have it on a Sunday. And then you can turn around and make it into those sandwiches or those chopped meatloaf steaks. You're not going to even believe that when you take that meat. Oh, I can't tell you. You got to watch. Ah, you got to watch so you can see the sandwiches we make. And you can see the chopped meatloaf steaks that we make. Be blessed. God is so good. Join this family so that you don't miss out on anything. Be blessed.